Hey everyone and welcome back to Trend Flash. Today we're going to be talking about the new fraud allegations against Dan Bilzerian and his bankruptcy. Make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss out to see if Dan Bilzerian will get arrested or not. You will not believe it. Dan Bilzerian has been in heaps of trouble. If you take a look at his Instagram, you can see a lavish lifestyle and a seemingly perfect life. Well, there is a lot of drama behind the scenes that has Dan Bilzerian under hot water. Dan is the son of corporate boss Paul Bilzerian, who set up trust funds for both of his sons to live on after only paying back the government a fraction of what he owed. Not much about Dan's life has been revealed besides the fact that he went to college in Florida and then pursued a career in poker, where he claims to have made his millions. Bilzerian played in the 2008 World Series of Poker, finishing in the 180th spot. In 2010, he was voted one of the funniest poker players on Twitter by Bluff Magazine. In November of 2011, Bilzerian was one of those sued over debt of honor winnings that they had been paid in no contract poker games by Tobey Maguire. That same year, Bilzerian backed up Alex Rodriguez openly against claims that Alex had bet wrongfully, guaranteeing that he was available when the supposed betting function had occurred and Rodriguez was absent. In November of 2013, Bilzerian posted an unconfirmed claim that he won $10.8 million from a single night of playing poker. And in 2014, he claimed to have won $50 million throughout the year, adding that he doesn't play against professionals anymore and the most he's ever lost in a single session is $3.6 million. Bilzerian was featured on Joe Rogan's podcast on YouTube explaining the run up to his poker career. Bilzerian's Los Angeles house, for example, has a monthly rent of $200,000 a month. Now that house, along with parties, boats, and models, are charged to Ignite International LTD, a company that Bilzerian helped develop. According to TMZ, some of these funds included a $60,000 Star Wars gun set, a $50,000 bed frame, and a $75,000 paintball field. Besides the fact that these are the dream purchases of a 12-year-old, there is nothing fundamentally wrong with buying these items. That is, unless you made them with a company's credit card. According to Forbes, Ignite managed to lose a staggering $50 million in 2019. Poker player and web character Dan Bilzerian could wind up observing his organization, Ignite, fail in the following 14 days. Dan Bilzerian's new weed organization may before long go up in flames. The most recent endeavor from the hard-celebrating self-announced ruler of Instagram, Ignite International, which sells a smorgasbord of weed-related products, burned through $50 million just last year. Ignite lost $43 million on expenses related to marketing and promotion, as well as office leases alone, according to its annual filing, first reported on by Forbes. Now, Dan Bilzerian, aka the king of Instagram, is the CEO and founder of Ignite International Brands Etc., which specializes in e-cigarettes, cannabis, and several other products. Over the course of the last few months, worrisome reports have surfaced which hint at the company being hit by major financial issues. And according to a report by Forbes, Dan Bilzerian's Ignite lost a whopping $50 million last year. Now indeed, Ignite appears to have footed the bill for Bilzerian's gun-toting private jet flying playboy lifestyle, also while paying him a salary as well as the travel expenses of other companies that he owns. Dan Bilzerian, however, seems to be dismissive of such rumors, courtesy of his recent tweet, in which he cited the example of Uber to draw a parallel and counter-bankruptcy rumors about Ignite. Despite his dismissiveness, things don't seem to be looking up for the former U.S. Navy SEAL trainee turned venture capitalist, as Ignite continues its steep fall from grace. Bilzerian runs the organization Ignite International Brands LTD, which sells electronic cigarettes, CBD oils, water jugs, and vodka, among other items. Light is a public organization settled in Toronto, Canada, and that started exchanging January 2019 under the Bills F ticker. Now, the company reportedly lost over $50 million in 2019, mostly on marketing and office rental expenses. Bilzerian's Instagram feed is covered with photographs of him on yachts, personal luxury planes, playing chess while encompassed by piles of money, and in any event, presenting with an enormous weapon with the Ignite logo cut into its side. Touch Off sells a wide scope of items from water containers and vodka to THC vape pens and CBD oils. Forbes cannabis columnist, in any case, composed that he has never experienced an item from Ignite in nature. 
The organization, which started exchanging freely in Canada in January of 2019 and exchanges under the Bill's F ticker, has seen its stock worth fall in excess of 70% in the following 18 months to 70 pennies. Bilzerian is no stranger to losing money. The 39-year-old entrepreneur recently lost a book deal with Simon & Schuster because he was too busy partying to deliver a manuscript, Page Six reported last month. Ignite's monetary records for Q2, which were as of late, uncovered more than two months after the cutoff time. However, they finally released it in a way that nobody could find them. It's not on their website, which is just horrendous. And what kind of public company doesn't put its own financials on its own website? That is just unheard of. So they throw it in some website, which is really hard to get to. However, we found it and we found some really interesting stuff. Based on the financials, the company in two weeks is going to be literally out of cash. Not balance sheet insolvency, not theoretical accounting insolvency. They are out of cash in exactly 14 days. Now, based on these financials, the company started the year with $15.1 million and ended the second quarter with $5.8 million, meaning that it burned through $9 million in a span of six months. That means it burned through a million and a half every single month. Now, if you have $5.8 million on June 30th, it literally means that you have four months to live. That's it. From June 30th, four months, you get till October 30th. They literally had zero growth from last year. A company that sells weed online during a pandemic, when everybody is stuck at home smoking weed, had 0% growth over one year. That is just insane. We were told that Ignite is going to get healthier. They're going to fix a lot of these things. They're going to spend less. Their expenditures are the same. Their gross profit is abysmal and their efficiency is in the toilet. Like any good businessman, it seems Bilzerian sticks someone else with the bill. Bilzerian, who owns at least a stake in other companies headquartered in Montana and Nevada, according to public records, also used Ignite as an ATM. Ignite Cash went to pay salaries, licensing fees, business expenses, and travel expenses for companies that were owned by the CEO, according to the report. The amount of this Ignite decided to impart to its investors and the holders of its obligation until the yearly report was delivered, just the organization can say. But it's fair to declare that the company publicly said it was doing one thing, while it, or Dan Bilzerian, who can say, did another. We would seem to be income positive unquestionably in 2020, previous organization president Jim McCormick, a previous tobacco chief who turned to the cannabis area after 2016, told a questioner in May a year ago. We run the organization extremely lean and mean. Spoiler alert, they didn't. Contrast that cheerful boosterism with the pessimism in the yearly report. Here is a telling passage from the company's directors who declare that in order to keep going, they will need even more of someone else's money, and now that is a very bad time to go begging. The company should bring capital up and request to finance its tasks and proceed with its current and forthcoming venture into vital business sectors. This need may be adversely impacted by uncertain capital market conditions, including those created by the COVID-19 pandemic, an inability to secure strategic partnerships in key markets, and an unfavorable perception of the Ignite brand, wrote the company's board of directors, before warning investors that the whole thing might be ready to self-immolate. In spite of the fact that the company has been fruitful in the past in acquiring financing, there is no affirmation that it will have the option to get satisfactory financing later on or that such financing will be on terms that are worthy to the company they proceeded. The uncertainty of the company's ability to achieve profitable operations and its success in raising additional capital funding may cast significant doubt on the company's ability to continue as a going concern. That same prognostication, failure is imminent, was also the analysis offered by the accounting firm that reviewed the company's books. Probably a portion of the cash Dan Bilzerian will additionally use to keep Ignite afloat is your cash. The company reported receiving just short of $1.2 million in the Paycheck Protection Program loans from the Small Business Administration. Ignite intends on applying for loan forgiveness, the company said. Okay, an enormous marketing machine that didn't really sell anything. A brand that its own directors worry may be toxic, floated by debt and investors. Is that all there is behind Dan Bilzerian's company? While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these other videos on your screen and we'll see you there.